අපි ඔබේ S2 ඉතා පරිස්සමින් සුරකින්නට කටයුතු කරන්නේ නිවැරදි තාක්ෂණයෙන් පිරිපුන් පරීක්ෂාවන් ඔබ වෙතගෙන එමින් විෂම් කියා විශ්වාසනීය දැක්ම Dr. Lester James Pierce was born on the 5th April 1919 in Dehiwala to Dr. James Francis Pierce who had studied medicine in Scotland as well as a cricketer for a Scottish club and Anne Gertrude Winifred Jay Surya. He was educated at St Peter's College Colombo before dropping out to pursue a career in journalism at the age of 17 first working with the Daily News and later in 1939 joining the Times of Ceylon. In 1947 he traveled to England where he began pursuing his passion for the cinema and after successful assignment he returned to Ceylon in 1952 to embark on a career in film making. In 1956 Dr Pierce made his entry into national cinema directing the globally acclaimed movie Rekava which was a story based on village life. Rekava was nominated for the Palme d'Or in 1957 the highest accolade awarded at the Cannes Film Festival. With this film he revolutionized Sri Lankan cinema thus creating a unique identity as it was the first Sri Lankan movie to be shot outdoors. Dr. Pierce has been involved in over 28 films including short and documentaries. The veteran was also known for his other movies Vaikandevala Uva, Gamperaliya, Dilavakkathara, Ransalu, Golu Hadavata, Madol Duva, Nidhaneya and Yuganthaya. His film Nidhaneya was hailed as the best Sri Lankan film so far and was the only Sri Lankan film to be included in the top 100 movies of the world. Ya undrange pihiting kiyanna waradak naha hamudrun. His movie Vaikande Wala was starring Ravindra Randeniya and Malini Fonseca was Sri Lanka's first ever submission for the Academy Awards. Dr. Pierce has been both locally and internationally recognized for his work and contribution for the Sri Lankan cinema. He was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2012 Derana Lux Film Awards and at the Sri Lankan of the Year Award ceremony last year. At last year's Sri Lankan of the Year Award ceremony his wife Sumitra Pierce accepted the award. on his behalf i have to thank darana on behalf of my husband a video of dr pierce enjoying a song from his own movie together with several young actors of the film fraternity was seen posted via social media after his passing I'll take you for the next film. <laughs> the veteran film director passed away at the age of 99 while receiving treatment at a private hospital in Colombo yesterday. His remains were brought to the residence on Sir Leicester James Pierce Mawatha Colombo 5 for the public to pay their last respects. Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe and Minister Vajra Abhivardhana paid their last respect to the late veteran. Other politicians, artists from the film fraternity and members of the public continued to visit the residence to pay their final respects. When you talk about the Sri Lankan art industry, there are only a handful of uh, legends and when you take cinema there's no any other person other than dr lester james pierce who has changed the complexion of the national cinema he created the way how to do the national films with the national texture national color and national sense he is the father he is the teacher of the real national sri lankan cinema the death of dr lester james pierce is something um quite devastating and my first entrance to acting 
was under their influence. It was directed by Mrs. Pierce, but um, Sir was always on set. I remember the love, the strength they gave me, and I remember how delicate they were in handling us. We were a young bunch of girls and boys. His wealth of knowledge in in all aspects enriched our lives, and he he would never die. Just like his movies will be immortal. In I'm glad that I have uh, been associating Dr. Leslie James Pierce for so long. I'm proud of taking part in his first ever television production he made called Avarshana, and the only one he created. He never put pressure on artists. He was a lovely human being, having so much of humor. He was like another youth who had that youthfulness and all that energy with him. President Maithripala Sirisena meanwhile instructed to conduct the funeral of Dr. Leslie James Pierce under state patronage. His final rites will be held at the Independence Square on Wednesday, the 2nd of May at 4 p.m. Life and my people have been very good to me. I hope that through my films I have given something back to them.